First, new footage into our AZ Family newsroom of that powerful explosion at this Chandler strip mall that sent four men to the burn unit. Tonight, what detectives say caused it. That massive explosion blew the roof right off that print shop, and those victims are still in serious condition tonight. Well, remarkably, everyone inside survived, and Carissa Planalp is live for us in Chandler, where we finally have an explanation for that blast. Carissa? Jared and Nicole, local and federal officials have confirmed what many suspected, that this explosion was caused by a natural gas leak and some kind of heat or spark. And you can take a look at the building behind me here as we are starting to get some sprinkles here in this part of Chandler. Well, investigators, as you said, have now released dramatic video captured on a surveillance camera from the library right next door. Nobody but nobody should ever expect to go to work and have their business blow up in the way this did. New video shows how the force of this explosion shook walls, blew off the roof, and sent flames out the doors. Today, the Chandler Police Department issued findings from local and federal investigators saying the blast was a result of a natural gas leak set off by a spark. Southwest Gas issued a statement saying it is committed to determine the facts behind the unintentional natural gas leak, which investigators have cited as a contributing factor to this incident. The utility also said, quote, our collective hearts remain with those impacted. But how did it happen? What did Southwest Gas know? Had there been previous reports of problems? Attorney Tom Ryan represents Platinum Printing and three employees, Parker Mildebrandt and brothers Andrew and Dylan Ryan. All three are hospitalized with severe burns. The attorney says the families will take legal action against Southwest Gas as their lives are forever changed. They're left without a job. Uh, a, a source of income. Uh, they've been horribly disfigured, injured, and burned. Um, they've done a lot of damage to these little families. And it, it, beyond that, too, uh, it's important to hold Southwest Gas accountable. Glenn Jordan, general manager at a nearby eyeglass repair shop, is also hospitalized. His wife is now processing the latest information from investigators as she focuses on his recovery. Ryan says the same goes for his clients. The family appreciates the outpouring of support from the community and certainly, uh, certainly would like uh, their continued prayers. The attorney there for Platinum Printing says there were no volatile materials or chemicals being stored here at Platinum Printing. And he says the business didn't even use Southwest Gas Service. He says he plans to uh, look up the maintenance and repair history for Southwest Gas here in this area. Reporting live in Chandler, Chris Planout for Arizona's Family.